Hey everyone, welcome to Atari Story 7, and today I'm reviewing this, which is the Marvel Legends series Captain America 12-inch figure, and uh, wow, this thing is amazing. So uh, we have little stars going across the box, I don't know if I can really show the box off that well because of how huge this thing is, but um, love the silver going around too, we also have some warning and Hasbro stuff. I like how they printed Marvel Legends series on here, I like how it shows you a nice clear view of the figure. Uh, this kind of bumpy, really cool, metallic Captain America, really neat. Um, I really love this image. Definitely you can tell there's comic book inspiration in this, and I really do love this, to be honest. And on this side, we have Steven Rogers on mast holding the shield. And uh, yeah, that just looks really epic, too. On the back, we see Cap with his kind of, you know, like, truth, liberty, justice kind of, like, pose. And uh, we have images of, like, the other things available, the alternative mask. And uh, show looks really nice. And I really like the American flag in the background, too. It's kind of hard to see, but it's really neat. So, um, yeah, I really do love how they've kind of metallic this. I don't know if you can see it, but due to my lighting, it's kind of making it look... I don't know, like, it, the way it's kind of, like, lighting it up. I'm not sure if it's coming up on camera, but it's kind of, like, illuminating it. Kind of like how rainbows, you know, like, water and stuff. And it looks really neat like that. So, I love the design of the box. And, um, yeah, let's open this thing up. By the way, something really nice is it looks like all you have to do is cut this tape and pull it out so you wouldn't have to ruin the box for opening this. I really like this as, um, you know, I'm thinking about displaying the box because of how awesome it is. So, uh, yeah, that's really cool. Um, right out of the box, you can see the shield and uh, this thing is huge. I don't know if you can see how big my hand is, but this shield is massive and uh, looks really cool. Kind of reminds me of the one in the MCU, uh, but I like it. I love the design of the red and the silver and the blue and all around it looks really cool. Like the stars or the star, it looks really neat. And on the back, you can see um, the straps. This one does seem removable. I wonder if there's a peg here, if you could peg onto the back of the figure. I'm not sure if it can, and maybe that's why they made these removable so you could do that. Uh, but either way, it looks really nice. So yeah, let's move on to Captain America. Uh, here we have Captain America, and um, yeah, he looks amazing, to be honest. So uh, starting off with the head, it uh, looks really cool. like the detail on the eyes and the helmet and the wings, they look really nice. Um, also kind of like the strap going around. And uh, the detail on the kind of like letter here around the neck and the... Zipper looks really neat. I like the design on that, to be honest. And uh, he's got these nice, like, shield shoulder plates. Uh, really cool. I like the big star on the front. And I like this kind of, like, chain metalish mesh type thing that kind of reminds me of that. And uh, this part right here is just amazing. I love the stitching that they have done on this. Even though it's not actual stitching, I love how they've made it look like that. It is so perfect. And, uh, again, that's, like, what I was talking about with the shield these parts being removable, so I'm just going to side that off really quickly, and um, yeah, back to this, as you can see, it looks really cool, I love that, and um, really neat as well, they have designed the zipper on the suit, so it kind of goes down, really cool, and kind of like continues up here too, so that's neat, I also like the belt, they've done some nice designs of uh, like pockets and stuff on it, or you know, not pockets, whatever the term is, uh, but it looks really cool, and uh, really neat, same way all around the figure, I kind of like here too, and uh, I love that these have been scratched up, his uh, like knee pads, like he's been in war. I really do think that's cool. And uh, again, the shoes going down are really neat too. I really like that. And uh, on his gloves, um, he has these kind of like silver bands to hold the metal like parts of his costume, like the armor. So that's really neat. I like that. And I also like the white as well. Towards the back of the figure, he has a star here. And, um, you know, the kind of like detailing continues. And I think this is really phenomenal, to be honest. I really love it. And, um, yeah, so all around, he's pretty cool, to be honest. And uh, let's look at the accessories really quickly. First off, you get an alternate Steven Rogers head uh, based on the comic book appearance. And I think it looks really cool, to be honest. And, um, yeah, I like the eyes. I like how they pan them. I like the hair, too. They did a nice job on that. It's kind of like the dark blonde. And that's what I really like. I like how they've curved it, too. It looks really nice all around, to be honest. Um, you get this helmet, uh, but you cannot put the helmet on the figure. It is too small. And it's pretty much the same with the only difference being the no face in it. But, you know, it's kind of like so you could carry the helmet around if you want to. And, uh, you know, just kind of like he's not wearing it. And kind of makes sense that they would give you this. So I kind of like that. Really cool. Fisted hands, which are really nice to be honest. And uh, what's really cool is these are easy to remove and put on. I've had some problems with my previous Marvel Legends with that, and that's one of the things that's kind of annoyed me about this line. But um, this actually works perfectly, and uh, yeah, totally snaps on and off easily. 
And uh, you've already seen this show. So let's move on to articulation. Your articulate figure uh, can neck can go like up and down, uh, 360 at the head, uh, 360 at the arms. They swing out a little bit, a bit uh, hindered by the shoulder. Well, actually, they kind of seem to actually, you know, because of how they position that, uh, kind of goes up a bit. Um, so as you can see, the hands are easy to come out, and um, there is articulation here. You get 360 uh, bendability at the elbow. Oh, sorry about that. The fist did not go in right. Um, sorry. There's a 360 at the wrist, and it also kind of like, you know, does that, bends in and out, so that's cool. Uh, there is an ab crunch, really neat, uh, goes back and forward, and there's also articulation here. Uh, it doesn't seem to do, like, too well, but it is really neat. And, uh, hold on a second, uh, so something... So, um, I pressed the star, and the back popped out, I'm not sure why it did that. I think it's to hold the shield, I couldn't really get the shield in there, and I don't want to try it. Um, so, if you press the front of the star, the back one will shoot out. I don't know why it actually did that, to be honest. Uh, sorry about that, just, yeah, I did not know that was going to happen. Um, there is, uh, no articulation at the torso, actually. Uh, but the legs do swing forwards, backwards, out, and, uh, 360, bendability, a lot of bendability. <laughs> and the legs go upwards, and I'm not sure you can see any of that, to be honest, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, 360 there, and they turn and do that really awesome turny thing. So that's cool. So, um, yeah, ultimately, I really like this. I love the accessories. Uh, <coughs> the articulation is perfect, and, um, yeah, it's just really incredible. Definitely one to pick up. I was really blessed to come across this. It's only 25 at Walmart on sale. Amazing deal, and I totally recommend it. Thank you for uh, watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe.